Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go through all my uh, team project pen stuff for the month of April. I'm going to let you know um, how I've been doing with these products and I have a few empties. And I'm so happy I finally got shot of them. So um, I'm going to go through all the products as usual. I'm just going to follow the spreadsheet. I'm going to tell you what I finished, what I haven't, what progress I made. And um, yeah, if I would repurchase, yes or no. Um, but first, before I start, I want to thank you so much for still being here. I know I've been MIA for a few weeks and that is because I'm planning my wedding. I am getting married on Saturday. It's Sunday today, so it's in um, less than a week. And it's been quite a lot of planning uh, for me next to just being working and it has been a bit too much and too busy for me to also film. And I know it's not a good excuse, but it's also a good excuse. So I'm sorry I haven't been here, but um, you know, getting married is kind of a, a big thing. Um, I'm going to uh, film some um, videos and then I hope I can put them up while I am on honeymoon. But if I won't be able to do that, then please bear with me. I'm going to be back in the beginning of June and then it's like smooth sailing, no more plans, totally, you know, uh, open calendar for everything and mostly for, for filming, of course. So thank you. If you want to know how I did this month, then uh, please keep on watching. Okay, guys, I'm going to start off following the list, as I said, and we're going to start with primer. I have finished this small sample of the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in uh, yellow radiant yellow um, i finished it um a few days ago just a little over a week ago i finished this and um i i just really like this primer i have already bought the full size one i love this stuff so this was the last sample i had so i wanted to get rid of it so i could crack open the the big one and i have now um but next to the a uh, primer I'm using from MAC. I want to um, pen another one and I saw it here just a few seconds ago. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to um, uh, pen this VDL, I hope you can see this, VDL Lumi Layer Primer. It's very shimmery, um, but I really like what it's doing to my to my skin and I, I got this in a, as a sample in I think uh, an order just as a gift with uh, purchase. So I'm going to try and pen this. And if I like it, then maybe I'm going to buy the full size. I don't know yet, but maybe I will. I'll let you know. Then the foundation. I've been really concentrating on this foundation uh, this month because I uh, want to finish this one. I am getting into, or we are getting into summer and um, I'm going to be more tan than this. And I don't think this is going to match my color. So I have been really going at it, as you can see. Last time I was at this little stripe and now I am all the way down here. So I'm doing very good. And this is me using it almost every day, at least during work days, weekdays. I've been using this and I use, I think two or three pumps or something. So uh, in my opinion, you could get some very good use out of this little bottle um, but I am glad that I'm almost done because to be honest I have so many other foundation also that I want to or have to use up so I'm almost done and I'm glad I am. Then for powder this uh, Master Fix uh, powder I have been using from Maybelline it's a setting and perfecting loose powder it's fine. I use it to set my under eyes, not my full face or just my cheeks maybe, but not um, the full face because I have quite dry skin and this is not helping that. But I have made some great progress on it. Um, uh, in my last update, I was at 38.3 grams and now I am at 36.4. So I'm doing very well and I can really see it's getting uh, emptier by the minute. But because I haven't been, um, you know, marking it with a stripe, I can't really show you. But I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Then for setting spray, I was using this hyaluronic acid. No, I always say this. This hyaluronic fix by Makeup Revolution. 
I finished it finally. There's a little bit in here still, but it's not pumping. So no, it's nothing's coming out anymore. Uh, so it's finished, it's done. And I'm, I'm glad it is because I didn't really enjoy this product. It was okay if I loaded up my face with this um, then yeah, I could get some decent melting of the products, but it didn't do anything for uh, a long lasting of my makeup. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm done. I'm glad I'm done. Um, and I'm going to swap in a new product. It's the Slay All Day Setting Spray uh, by Gerard Cosmetics. It's a sample size or a small size. It's only one, no, it's only 1.01 ounce and that's 30 mils. Uh, and it's, I think, in grapefruit. Yes, it's in, in grapefruit. I don't know if you can see, but it's in grapefruit. I've started using this. I'm all, I'm here halfway. And I don't know if you've used this, uh, but it's like it has a cooling sensation in it or something to cool your skin. And uh, the first time I tried it, I was just nah, 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 spray it everywhere, not covering my eyes. And my eyes were stinging to the high heavens, really. So um, I... If I keep my hands like this and I, I'm protecting the uh, more thin layers of my skin on my face, then it's okay, but I don't really enjoy it. But it's not bad enough to throw it away. So I'm going to uh, put it in my project pen and hopefully I'm going to be done quickly. Then for bronzer, I have been using the butter bronzer uh, from Physicians Formula and I'm still very much going on a very big pen. I think I need to repress it. But I don't know how that works. I've never done that. So I think I should, you know, look up a video of, of someone doing this. Because it's, it's yeah, I can't really get a lot of product out of this. And it's getting a little annoying to use. But I'm very determined to use it all up. So I'm going to try and repress it. And maybe I can show you the result of that in my next video. Then for blush, I am still using the Dandelion, still panning this one um, by uh, Benefit. And I'm really making some big progress. As you can see, I've hit major pen and also the sides are coming off now. And I'm not concentrating on this little, little bit. I'm just swirling my, my brush in. It's not just concentrating on this. So I'm doing very well with this. I must say, um, you know, going into summer and getting more of a tan, I'm... Uh, leaning more towards more of the orangey shade uh, kind of blushes like the Melba from MAC and the Gingerly from MAC and I have a peachy one from um, like a burnt peach more from Makeup Revolution and I tend to use those more so I really have to think of using this but I'm making good progress so I hope I will be finished uh, quite uh, quite soon then the eye primer from Urban Decay this one uh, it's the primer potion in the anti-aging uh, formula and I decided to declutter this one and I be I'm decluttering it because it makes my contacts um, dirty. So um, I've tried my contact lenses uh, wearing contacts uh, with this and without it for a few days and really concentrating on trying to test if this is really what it's causing because I was using some other stuff as well. I was like, okay, it could be my lash primer or it could be this. And I found out it is this and I'm not going to go uh, through the trouble of finishing this one, except especially because I don't like the product. I was already topping it off with my MAC uh, uh, paint, uh, paint pot, <laughs> sorry, paint, can't talk. Uh, soft ochre one, the soft, this one. I use this on the daily and I put this one underneath because it had the anti-aging properties and I was like, okay, maybe my eyelids will, eyelids will get less scrapey. Well, I'll never know because I'm going to de declutter this one, but I still wanted to have something of um, uh, eye primer in my project pen. So I'm going to try and pen this one from Catrice. Uh, it's very similar to the to the uh, Urban Decay one. It has a doe foot applicator and it's like, I can, maybe I can swatch it for you. It has a little bit of a tinge and I hope it's going to be enough uh, for maybe some lighter makeup days or when I'm going to use some bolder colors because my eyes are very dark. 
uh, the color of my skin of my eyes is very dark so it's um, yeah really um, affecting the the eyeshadows I use so I really want to have something underneath that is cancelling those colors out that's why I like the paint pot so much the soft ochre one and the painterly one but I want to finish try and finish this if it's going to do the same thing as the Urban Decay one I'm going to chuck it also but I want to try it first so that's that then for my um, eyeshadow palette I have been neglecting this one dearly you can see that I'm not hitting more pen than I did um, in my defense, it is because I was using the Jaclyn Hill palette as my one month one palette. And that palette is big and it has a lot of shades and it has a lot of great shades to put on my brow bone and my inner corner. That was mainly why I was using this one. So it just got on the back burner and I'm going to try and concentrate on it a lot more for this month. And I hope I'm going to make a little bit more progress than I have already. Then I have been using the L'Oreal Joe Intensa eyeliner in black and I'm making more of a dip in it. I can put up a picture but you know you can't really see. Um, but I'm making more of a dip in the middle and I think I'm going to concentrate just on hitting that gloss uh, first so I can show you the progress because I think that if I am hitting really hitting pen on this or hitting the gloss on it I can really show you how far I am I'm still liking this product I am not using it a ton 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 but I'm trying to remember to use it I put it on my I have a big um, uh, not a big one I've got an Alex drawer here uh, the five yeah the five tier one and I have all my brushes on top of it and I have a little uh, plastic holder for my lipsticks and stuff like that and I'm uh, putting this one there so I see it every day and I use it when I want to put on liner I use this one so I'm, I'm making some steps but it's not going extremely fast then I am going to go into mascara I finished the mini it's so dried out um, that I um, yeah it's clumping and it's being obnoxious so i am done with this i'm considering this empty and um, i have been switching over to uh, the high impact clinic high impact full size it's the same one it's just full size one still don't like it for my top lashes because my lashes uh, don't have a curl out, uh, out of um, their own accord or how do you call it they're not naturally curled and um if I use this on my top lashes, they just fall down. I can curl them like forever, but they fall down. So I only use this on my bottom lashes and I'm going to use it until it's uh, dried up like this one did. Then I have another product I want to pen as it's also a lash product. It's by Maybelline. It's the Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. I had two of those. I emptied one uh, uh, recently so uh, and I had another one. Uh, because I got it at a two for one sale, I think. And yeah, it was a bit of a waste because I don't think this does a lot for your lashes. But I like the, um, uh, the step in my routine to put it on. So I'm going to just bend this one and then I'm going to be shot of it. And it's it's fine. I have another lash, um, uh, uh, how do you call it? A lash serum to do something for my lashes not really working either i'm just trying to empty it i'm not going to put it in a project pen because i'm going to empty it anyway um but yeah maybe it's going to come up in a, another empties video so stay tuned for that then for my brow products i have been using these two this is the max factor brow shaper and i am using the catrice eyebrow set this is a powder this is a pencil and i finished the pencil it's fully fully gone or at least as gone as can be used i can't use this little noblet thing of a thing it's annoying it's done yay and i have been very much concentrating on uh, this uh, product as well and you can see i hope that there's quite a dip in the lighter one and um yeah i'm really concentrating on that one particular spot so i can actually hit pen on uh, on this product and um, yeah i hope i am going to do that soon because 
then I can show the product a uh, pros uh, no progress sorry I I don't know what's wrong with me today but I can't really speak um, I hope I'm going to hit pen on this one because I can show the progress a little bit better because um, yeah it's just difficult to show you how far I am with this you'll just have to believe me I'm doing good the next product is a lip product it's my NYX suede lip pencil in the color whipped caviar this one I have been neglecting it a little bit this uh, this month um, but I have made I think a little bit of progress yes I did I went from 10 centimeters to 9.7 centimeters so that's 0 3 centimeters done like 3 millimeters yeah 3 millimeters done with this one I really have to concentrate more on this one otherwise I won't be able to finish it uh, by the end of the year <laughs> okay then <laughs> For my new product, I have a new, uh, or not a new, I um, put this uh, lipstick in because we were able to swap out some products in the last uh, update because it was the quarterly update from March and I decided to swap my Essence lipstick. This one, I think I still have it here somewhere. No, I don't. I'm promising you stuff that I... No, sorry, it's not here, but I have swapped that one out for this one. It's the Syrup by MAC. I really like this one. It's in my bag. I'm this far now. I haven't made a lot of progress on this one either, I'm sorry to say. Um, last time it was 2.1 centimeters and now it's 2 centimeters. So it's like next to nothing. I just keep forgetting it because I'm trying to see where I am going. To, yeah, how I am going to make the best progress. Um, I tend to use it every day if I put it here on the Alex drawer I was talking uh, about a little earlier um, or I'm going to make more progress when I put it in my handbag but I just I don't know I don't know yet so I have to just experiment a little bit more um, I think I'm going to just keep it in my handbag this full month because uh, I am uh, going on my honeymoon and yeah, putting it on my Alex door is not going to do anything because I won't be here. So I'm just going to put this one in my handbag and I'm hoping I'm going to use more of it. Then for another lip product, I am also trying to pen the Birch Bees Honey Lip Balm and um, I was at two point, I'm not going to put it on this one, I'm sorry this one I'm not going to um, roll it up all the way up because I can't really get it back very easily but I'm making some progress in this one I use it every day because I um, leave it in my Alex drawer um, when I am done scrubbing my lips I scrub my lips every day because otherwise they get very uh, dry and I get um, loose uh, little uh, uh, well you know specks of uh, uh, skin yeah. Um, and then I just I scrub my lips every day and then I put this on top of it and that way I'm at least using it and using it up a little bit more than when it was in my handbag and I kept losing it. Then, then the next thing is my um, minis from the fragrances and yes I have finished five I think yeah. I'm making a bit of mess of it. I finished five. I finished the Mugler one. Yeah, the Mugler Alien one. I finished the Guerlain one. It's Mont Guerlain. I really like this one. Yeah, this was really nice. I um, used a sample from, I got from Easy Pity. I have no idea what was in here. Same thing for this one. There was something in here. I have no clue what was in here. I think you can actually reuse these oh i think i'm going to keep those that's handy um i finished uh, as i said i finished five and i am at 19.5 i don't know oh no okay. what i'm doing i am um i was before i was just keeping track of how much uh, of how many of these were uh, left and because i buy makeup and i get samples the collection kept growing, 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 even though I was finishing products. So, or these minis. And um, I thought, well, maybe it's a little bit more uh, handy just to count whatever is left in my collection, plus keeping track of how many I finished. So uh, last month I was at 21 
and um, now I am at 19 and I finished five so that means I had three more added to the collection and yeah that's just the story of my life I think that it's going to, that's going to keep happening uh, but um, at least I'm going through them at least I'm trying them oh guys I I did it I finally did it I finished yeah I finished my Nivea. Um, I finished my uh, Nivea uh, body lotion. I am so glad I am finally finished with this one. It's not it. It's not a bad product by any means, but I don't lotion a lot. The only um, uh, way I like to lotion is use body oil, mainly from Rituals in the shower just to moisturize my skin and this one I just don't like I just don't like to have a lotion I have to you know um, let sink into the skin because I get sticky and this one it got into my skin fairly quickly and it was okay it's just it was in the way and I just like the body oil uh, concept a lot more so I'm glad I'm finally done with this one yay yay yeah man all right, then for my last update on um, uh, for this uh, for this April update, I am very close to finishing uh, this Clinique rinse of eye makeup solvent. I think you can see. Uh, last month uh, I was here, now I am here, and I am even uh, further down because I've been using it and um, I've been marking the uh, bottle I think a week ago or something so I've been using it a little more and um, yeah I'm going through it quite quickly and I'm glad I am because I need to get shot of it yay okay guys that's it from me that's my full update for uh, April for my team project pen product if you have any questions then please leave them down below Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.